Kal Halalium, Lai Hawa Bahasham, Shali Hawa Shay, Bahava Kakudash, which is ancient Pilo Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only name, who the world ignorantly calls Jah, Jehovah, etc. In the name of Yahweh Shay, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, etc. In the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash. Is the wisdom and understanding of these holy words. I right? want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of faith and soon and diligently teach us this word for numerous years in your spirit, Yahweh and Yushai. You know, and all the other saints, you are doing the, doing the works, and preaching the word, doing these lessons and whatnot, and fearing sincerity and truth. And, um, you know, um, Asha Wabarak. Ra'ash Chadash, which is happy and blessed. New moon. All right, just got home from the plantation. And um, you know, spray God on me, thinking about how deep this truth is, you know. You know, I just had, just had a shower. And uh, Yahweh I put a thought in my head that I want you, you know. He's like, remember who wants you. Remember who, who wants you, who chose you, who called you. The most powerful, the most, the most wise, creator of everything created you and wants you first out of all of his creation and as beautiful as fuck yo it's lucky for those who are offended by that word but it is beautiful as fuck can you imagine you can't even begin to imagine something like that, all right I'm just going out of spray with this one so it's lucky for me to be jumping all over already Latin, but you know, we gotta meditate and things like this and you know, imagine he showed you this knowledge right let me just do this this precept this precept first and then on the other side one the spirit right it says um this is psalms 104 and 7 verse 5 Great is our Lord, which is great is our great is our Yahweh, and great of power, and of great power. His understanding is infinite. Infinite. Infinite understanding. You know? All right? That's beautiful, man. The wisdom and understanding that is infinite. You cannot number it. You know, that's, this is for people who believe in these words. This is for people who will be, who believe in this word. Alright? Um, oh, there's wisdom of Psalm. This Psalm of wisdom, right? It says, um, And great pleasure it is to have her friendship and in the works of our hands are infinite riches and this knowledge is, is, is the highest valued thing in the world but you've been but we've been given it you've given an opportunity I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna title this lesson um, there's a chance that you might be one of those men chosen there's a chance you might be wanted by the most powerful being ever or ever will be all right there's a chance that you might be his first his first fruits all right um I believe 
was found in the apocryphal of the most of the sinister address. Uh, it's the second address, chapter 8, verse 62. These things have I not shewed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee, and a few like thee. All right, most I didn't show this to everybody. This ain't, this ain't something that anybody's gonna get. But he did get everybody a chance. But he said that, you know, just like he said this in um, Romans. Let's see here. Way to find it. It says um, Romans chapter eleven verse four. But, but what? But what say? But what say the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself. Let's get a full precept. This is Romans chapter eleven verse one, right? Start from one. I say then, hath the most I cast away his people, most I forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, the tribe of, 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 his, of Benjamin's lucky, Banyamim. The most I hath not cast away his people, which, for, for, which he foreknew. What ye, would ye not? What scripture saith Elias? How he maketh intercession to the most I against Israel, saying, Yahweh, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars. I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved my, I reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed, bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Right, and we will not bow. At this point in time in our lives, in point in time of Yahweh, Yahweh's master plan. We have not bowed down and we pray and hoping that that we don't bow down to to to, to nothing that is not as contrary to the most high words, right? It says um even so then it, at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. If by grace then it is no more of works, otherwise grace is no more grace. That's what we 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 granted that grace to hold that that we you we wanted by by him, right? And that word wanted it's like it's like you want this girl, you know? You want this girl. You want this girl and, and everybody else want her, but yet she chose you, you know. And that girl will be wisdom. Everybody want wisdom and try to find some form of it, but it's right in front of their face and they can't attain to it because they, wisdom did not call them. Which is Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. That nurturing spirit, that loving kind of spirit. Alright? Not saying that most I, you know, is, is effeminate or something like that, but that's how he describes it for us to comprehend in this. In this feeble, feeble realm, so to speak, All right? But if it be of works, there is no more, there, then it is no more grace, otherwise work is no more work. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. All right? So, we gotta be, we gotta be meditate on these things now and then, and and we know that we, we're, we're filthy and we're unworthy of something like this, alright? This one is in um, uh, 17 or John 17. Slack here. To me and through the spirit, where is John? Mm. 
Yeah, it's John. John 17. Let's see. Start from 1 John chapter 17, verse 1. These words speak Yahweh Shai lifted up his eyes to the heaven and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify thy son, that thy son may also glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. This is life eternal, that they might know thee. The only true power and Yahweh Shai Mashiach, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on earth, and I have finished the work which thou hast which thou gavest me to do. And and now, O Father, glorify thou me in thy in thine own self with glory which thou hast thou had which I had with thee before the world was. You see what he says? Says, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. And also I glorify the Son, because the Son always put his, put his Father first. Alright? It was all part of the most high master plan. I have manifested thy name unto him, which is Yahweh, unto the men which thou which thou gavest me out of the world thine they were and thou gavest them me they have kept thy and they have kept thy word these men belong to Yahweh Hashem the highest most powerful most highest most beautiful most loving most fear the most dreadful most terrible being anything anybody could imagine you are obedient to his words. And we're hoping to bring that moment to the spirit, to his spirit. Now they have known all. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou givest me are of thee. We know these words are of the most high. Alright? We can present historical facts, break down scriptures, stack scriptures, and so forth. But they're not gonna get it. They're not gonna see it the way these men have kept have kept his word because why? They are children of disobedience. For I given says for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. And they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee they have believed that thou didst send me I pray for them not for the world but for them which thou hast given me for they are thine and all are mine and all mine are thine and thine are mine and I am glorified in them and that's deep that's deep you know that's deep Pray how Bashan will share that is. The staff remain, remain, remain in my, remain in my labia. Lab. To the dreadful day of judgment, you know. Romans 8 and 23 it says um, not only they but ourselves also which have the first fruits of the spirit even we ourselves grown within ourselves waiting for the adoption it's lucky, to with the redemption of our, our body it's lucky, uh, you know so these men are the first fruits
in the first fruits, right? This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 4. These are they which have not defiled, which were not defiled with women. Speaking about doctrines of devils, or seducing doctrines. Well, for they are virgins, right? That's not literal. It's parabolic, right? These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth, with children of obedience. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and unto the Lamb. Right? Good. This is uh, James chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Of his own will he begot, he begot, he us, with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of the first fruits of his creatures. First fruits of his creation, you know. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Right? Let's get one more close on. How is that this big preset? Alright, this is second address. Chapter 6, verse 58. But we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given up into their hands. Right? You know, and um, it says verse 59 If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess it in the inheritance within the world? How long shall this endure? That's what we're waiting for that blessing. With, you know, where is first born? Where is begotten? And um, it's beautiful. Earth. 